Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and we need to sit down and have a talk about Monster Hunter Cross. I have a lot of people sending me messages about Monster Hunter Cross, asking, like, what I'm thinking about the game, my excited, what am I most interested in, just reactions to it in general, because I obviously play a whole lot of Monster Hunter on my channel, you guys should probably know that. If you're not familiar with Monster Hunter Cross, we have a couple trailers out for it now, it's going to be the next installment in the Monster Hunter series, coming out in Japan soon, and the West, and eventually, in several years, I assume, eventually we'll get some version of it, but anyway, I I've been waiting a long time to make this reaction video for it because I am actually not interested almost at all. And I really have to preface why that is. And it's got a weird backstory to my recent trip to Alaska. While I was out in the enormous Denali National Park in Alaska, I was looking around and just admiring how enormous it all is and how vast and how anything could be out there. There were thousands and thousands of bears, moose, caribou, practically anything. And I was thinking, man, it would be so amazing just to have like a, a Monster Hunter game or something like that where you're just kind of dropped in the middle of a, a, an area like this, an uncontrollable area habitated by so many monsters and then you have to survive through it. That'd be so much fun. And the thing is, just thinking about that for a moment, it made me go back to think about Monster Hunter Tri, which is the first Monster Hunter game I ever played. And the thing is, that Monster Hunter game, in my opinion, is still my favorite, which is kind of sad because it was the first one I ever played. And in more than one ways, the Monster Hunter series, as far as I've seen, has only, in my mind, gotten worse and worse or farther and farther away from what I really, really enjoyed about that first game that I ever played. Now, since playing Monster Hunter 3, I went to playing Monster Hunter 3U, I played the original Monster Hunter game, I played a little bit of Freedom Unite, and obviously, as you all know, I play Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. So I've got a pretty good understanding of the entire series and how it ranged and where it went from its very beginnings to where I jumped in to where we are now. And the thing is, I can now see that there's something in this game that I guess the creators are just slowly getting rid of or it was never originally in their vision when they created the earlier games that I really enjoyed. Now, it's kind of hard to put this to words, but the thing is, like I was saying back in the wilderness in Alaska, it really reminded me of Monster Hunter Try because a lot of times in Monster Hunter Try you're out in the wilderness by yourself and anything can show up. The thing is when you're running out there, you're wondering, looking over your shoulder thinking, man, that great Joggy who actually was a threat in Monster Hunter 3 could just run up behind you and totally ruin whatever you were doing. Or Kira Pekko might come out and call something that'll totally screw you over. And it was so unpredictable because it was also really realistic. You really believed that this could have happened. You hunt down these monsters and say you need to make a fire weapon so you actually have to take the chunks of flint at the end of Akira Peko's arms to turn a weapon into a combustible fire. It actually makes sense. And so much of the game actually made sense. The, the wilderness actually made like an ecosystem. Things would actually work together and then you would be <laughs> trying to survive out there with your town going out hunting for them getting parts for yourself so you can hunt bigger monsters now that's always in a roundabout way what the monster hunter game is anyway but the thing is what i'm saying it's slowly losing is its realism factor and the thing is i understand monster hunter try and try ultimate did include water fighting which was honestly the only thing i really did not like about that game not because the controls were difficult, but because it couldn't happen. Aside from that, the thing that really, really impressed me about this game was how real it all felt. You'd look at the monsters and you would just feel like that thing actually exists because it was designed so well, even though some of them are a little silly, they were designed so well, I could totally believe that based on evolution, that thing would totally develop those kind of skills or capabilities or it would look like that and you would be just like in awe thinking about the ecology of these things, or at least I would, and I'm interested in that stuff. I'm hunting these monsters and I feel like they would actually exist in this world. I'm interested in how they're designed and the whole aspect of playing the game feels real and that is my favorite part. And the thing is, every Monster Hunter game I have played after that, in one way or another, has moved farther and farther away from that. And now this is getting me towards where we're getting to Monster Hunter Cross. Because when you move from Monster Hunter Try to Monster Hunter Try Ultimate, basically you add a whole lot of monsters, which some of them are repeats from the older games. Some of them seem a little ridiculous that they wouldn't actually exist. That kind of bothered me, but the thing that really started to bother me was the game was getting really easy. Now, it wasn't noticeably easy to where it was a problem. It was still a lot of fun and enjoyable. But the thing is, when you move from Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, 
monsters get extremely easy, and there are so many monsters, a lot of which are repeats that I actually didn't really care for because of how unrealistic they seemed, you go and fight these monsters, and if you were manageably prepared for all of your quests that you went to, you would finish all of these quests within about 5 to 15 minutes. If not, you were taking your time. There was something wrong there. And you know, honestly, I think there's something wrong with that. I prefer fighting monsters, and it drags on for a half an hour. You seriously needed a plan. You need to figure out what you're doing. You don't have that much time. You're limited here. You're out there in the wild, man against monster. They kind of have the natural upper hand here. They should really kick your butt. There really shouldn't be much of an incentive for you to run in blindly to a monster, just start swinging your weapon at it, and it actually does die in about five minutes. That's upsetting. Really upsetting. If you watch my first video of Monster Hunter where I go to take out the Great Joggy, the first what? large monster we fight, I am upset. Legitimately upset no. with the game. And I think this has a lot to do with the game developers thinking that we need instant gratification when going on hunts for monsters. The thing is, when you go on the hunts in the new games, you're going because you needed monster parts. You're fighting this monster, again, you're going back and doing another quest because you needed to get his parts. You're trying to build something, or you're trying to progress your game so you're fighting a new monster. You're never really fighting a monster because you think it's fun. That doesn't happen anymore. You remember, I was going back playing Monster Hunter Try, and the thing is, I didn't really build that much stuff because there wasn't that much to build, and honestly, I went back to fight monsters just because they were fun. I picked that game up all the time just because it was fun. Never to build anything, never to progress my game, just because I enjoyed it. Seriously, when's the last time you did that in Monster Hunter 4? I would make a bet that answer is you haven't. And honestly, I haven't either. And I realized that after beating, like, G-Rank Special. I'm so far in that game, there's like literally nothing to do other than go back and finish some of the quests that I haven't already done. And that's already depressing because I got to that point and I stopped and I thought, there was really not much fun to this game because I didn't feel like I was doing any of it. It was like the game was holding my hand and taking me on a journey, step by step, hunt this, then hunt this, then hunt this. Oh, guess what? You're done now. And then I was like, wait a minute. I didn't do any of that because it was fun. I didn't really enjoy doing any of that because it was just so guided. So much of it was instant gratification and so much of it at one point was just made so that you can go back and grind monsters for their parts, which isn't what makes it fun. Getting the parts at the end of a quest isn't the best part of hunting the monster. It's just an extra thing that you get at the end so that you can use your reward for doing the hunt. The hunt itself is the game. It's not building stuff. It's not about trying to progress your story. It's about hunting monsters. And the game developers don't seem to understand that anymore. All right, so now we're kind of on the same page of what I'm thinking after playing these games. What I really enjoy in a Monster Hunter is the difficulty and the realism. That's what I really want, and that's what I really want to enjoy. I don't want to have my hand held when I'm playing a game. I want to do it because I like doing it, I enjoy it, and because it's fun. That's all. So now this brings me to Monster Hunter Cross, because this was my mindset when I saw the trailer. I was getting really disappointed with Monster Hunter, and though I still really enjoy the game, I was still pretty disappointed thinking it's going to be like that original experience where it's just man versus wild. You're out there, you see something, you need those parts, you need to hunt that thing. Or it's just fun, you're like, man, look at that creature, that thing looks so amazing, I'm gonna go hunt that thing, let's do it. And it takes you like 45 minutes, or it's like coming out of the wire, it's close. Those intense fights don't happen anymore. So the thing is, that's what I was really after. So really missing those things, and in that sense, being disappointed about the game, I watched the trailer for Monster Hunter Cross and I actually get even more depressed about the future of this game series because everything I really, really enjoy about Monster Hunter seems to have completely died in the new game. The new game just seems to be revolving around throwing in a ton of monsters already. I mean, we already see a ton of them in there. The new ones look ridiculous. They don't even look like they would exist at all. So I'm kind of disappointed in that sense. The new weapon mechanics look ridiculous. They are so over the top. I actually am extremely disappointed about that. I know in Japan that's just like a Japanese aesthetic of like over the top action and stuff like that. Well, I don't care for that. And it's like actually taking the ordinary fighting out of the game. I mean, they're still including the original ways to fight in the game, but the thing is, 
if you have a clear advantage to fight with, say, a an unrealistic weapon, then why would you not just use the unrealistic weapon in the game because it's going to be easier? I don't want to play the game and make it harder on myself just because I enjoy what it isn't anymore. Monster Hunter Cross looks ridiculous, over the top, and farther away from any of the other Monster Hunter games I've ever seen, and though I am open to change, that is not the change that I'm hoping for. It is actually moving further away in the direction of what I really, really enjoy about the series, and it's actually dropping what I think are the best qualities of the game. Will I still get the game? Yeah. Will I still play it? Yeah. Will I enjoy it? Yeah, probably. I'll probably still enjoy it. I mean, I still really enjoy hunting the monsters. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I had a lot of fun playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I'm just comparing it to its other games in the same series. And if I compare it to the other games in the same series, then you start seeing the flaws in the game. And when you see the flaws in the game, you start getting really disappointed and you start seeing a pattern. And the pattern is the games are becoming easier and easier and less and less realistic and even more and more over the top. And the thing is, that can be fun. It can be fun to play that. But the thing is, not for me. It's not what I want. I want that hunting game where I am dropped in the middle of Denali, Alaska, and all of a sudden say my caravan was taken out by a Tigrex or something like that. And all the rest of the game is me, on my own, trying to build my own weapons, build my own armor based on anything that can appear in the wild. I have to track things down, I have to be smart, I can't run in willy-nilly, I have to be very prepared and strategic to try and track the right monsters in the right order before I get anything that's too ridiculous. Can't try and jump right in and hunt that huge monster over there because, man, you're wearing something that's way too frail, or your weapon's not nearly strong enough to take that thing down. You gotta prepare for that. That's the kind of game I want. I want to think, I want to be prepared, I want to feel like I'm actually there, I'm actually the one doing this, I'm making these decisions, this is real life, my caravan really just got taken down, and I need to survive out here. This is happening. For Monster Hunter to really succeed in my mind, it needs to bring back its creativity, its unpredictability, its difficulty, and honestly, its fun. Because it's losing all four of those things with every single installment I see in another Monster Hunter game. And unfortunately, Monster Hunter Cross is the first game that made me sit back and realize this. It's slowly happening, but it's happening, and it really scares me. Now a lot of the things that show me the direction of the games that are making it a little bit more apparent, it's a lot of the Japanese culture being pushed into the game even more and more. And I find it kind of strange because the game is actually becoming westernized a lot and it's actually becoming even more and more Japanese with this over-the-top action, the ridiculous looking monsters, and the unbelievability of it all. It's just all building up together, making a game that I think Japan likes even more. They're putting more money into it. They're enjoying it even more. But the thing is, when you're also trying to westernize it and bring it over to America, you're actually moving away from what they want. Different cultures like different things in video games. I'm clearly American here, wanting the difficult game that is really realistic that I have to really strategize with and spend time with. That's just American culture. The thing is, Japanese is obviously different. It's all those things I was just listing. But the thing is, when they invest a lot into a game, they bring it over here and expect it to work, and I don't think it is. I can see it changing, and I don't like that. It disappoints me. Now, obviously, that's just me. That's my opinion. I've obviously been shouting at you for a long time here, so let me know what you think in the comments. I really want to hear about this. I, so far, I haven't heard a single person who agrees with me, and I kind of feel like the bearer of bad news. Like, I don't want to be the guy who's saying, Darn with Monster Hunter Cross! It's a terrible game! Because I'm excited about it, too! I love Monster Hunter! Seriously, it and Pokemon are like my two favorite game franchises ever. I don't want to see anything bad ever happen to them. But the thing is, I saw this, and I can't help but say it. I don't want to hide this any longer. I need it to come out. I have to say it. I don't think Monster Hunter Cross is being true to the Monster Hunter franchise. And unfortunately for me, I am not very excited for it at all. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Now hopefully somebody out there will make me feel like I'm not alone in this. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next Monster Hunter video. See you.